Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone guys. Happy you've joined me here today. I had leftover paints from uh, yesterday's pour where I did uh, two canvases. I did one with a flood coat and I flooded the canvas first with silver and the second one I just brushed multiple colors from this palette onto the canvas and then I did a very very subtle swipe. Now the other one is still under lock and key drying but the one that was not done with the flood coat is about 80 percent dry so I wanted to show it to you it's very, very shimmery, very soft and supple and just kind of delicate. And I am just, I'm very, very excited about this painting. So I wanted to use up these colors using a different technique. So let me put this aside and then we'll talk about what we got going on here. So we're going to be working today on a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. My base coat today is going to be this yummy silver right here. Now it's a combination of a lot of different silvers because I had some leftover silvers and little cups with lids on them and I poured it all in here but the majority of the silver is the PBO Studio Acrylics and this is the iridescent silver right here. This is a very very nice paint guys. Our pouring medium, let me tell you how I start out when I'm doing either a flip cup or ring pour or anything but a swipe. I put my paints in a cup and then I add my usual pouring medium, which is 50% Floetrol to 50% Golden GAC 800. I give it a good stir. Now, my pouring medium is relatively fluid because of the GAC 800. It is thinner than Floetrol. And my paints, because most of them are fluid paints, not tube paints, not heavy body paints, because most of them are fluid paints. My paints end up being very, very fluid because of the type of paint that I use and my pouring medium is fluid. So when I am going to do something other than a swipe where I like my paints a little bit thicker, I add the mixed pouring medium to my paint to help thicken it up. So I use that as my thickening agent. Let me, uh, let me get a bottle of it. Here it is right here and I will post the link on how you can get this mixed pouring medium because a lot of you ask me about it. And then I also keep it in this little squeeze bottle right here and as I'm mixing things up if I need it to be a little bit thicker I just give it a squeeze. So I'm really digging on this mixed pouring medium, guys. And uh, I don't tell you about it unless I like it, <laughs> unless it works for me. I am not affiliated with any of these paint companies, pouring medium companies. I tell you about it because I like it and I have experimented with it. So we're using leftover paints from yesterday's pour because I just love the color combination. But I did add one extra ingredient here in this cup right here. That is our Deco Art Satin Enamel and that is their classic black right there. So I don't know what that's going to do if it does anything, but I wanted one nice, nice, nice dark hue in this mix. Let's go ahead and look at the consistency. I hope you can see it might be hard with the black. This color right here for good luck is my golden fluid paint iridescent pearl. This yummy color right here is beautiful. This is also Deco Art Metallics, and this is their pewter, and I just used the last of it, and that makes me a little bit sad. But I added to it, just to soften it up, a little bit of the golden iridescent silver. 
this yummy cup right here. Let's look at this consistency. You might be able to see it just a little bit better. It leaves a trace and a mound when the paint hits the paint below from the popsicle stick. But can you see that shimmer? This is a yummy, yummy color combination. That is Decoart Extreme Sheen. That is the Sky Blue Topaz. I used it yesterday as well. And I added to it some of my golden fluid iridescent silver. It's fun to mix up paints and to play with them, guys. This right here is just my golden iridescent silver in the fluid paint. And this pretty color right here is my golden fluid acrylics, the Payne's Gray. And I lightened it up a, a little bit by adding some of the golden iridescent silver. What I do is I put my main color in the cup. I add my pouring medium to it, mix it up. And then I just start adding a few drops of the complementary color, stir it up until it gets to the color that I'm looking for. It's like being a mad scientist, guys. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to sit here and noodle over it, mix up some uh, cups, uh, layer some cups, and then we're just going to play, guys. Let's turn on some music. Let's get busy. Mm -hmm. 